Welcome to Psychics Anonymous. I am Spiritual Advisor 713, but shh, that's anonymous. Welcome back to my house. Please come on in and help yourselves to some tea, coffee, water, wine, or an energy drink. Now, if you like this kind of video, please give me a big thumbs up. Please comment and subscribe if you have not already. So today we're talking about three tips to quickly raise your vibration. And before we get into this video, I have a very short announcement to all of my sub current subscribers and to all the new people listening out there. Hey, everybody. Happy Wednesday. I hope your day is amazing so far. I have a second channel. The link to it will be in the description box down below. And I will pin a comment with a direct link so you can go over and hit my red button. I can follow you right back and hit yours. And if you don't have a channel, hit my red button because you don't want to miss anything because I promise you I have amazing content. Okay. That's all over with. Now let's get into this. The three tips for raising quickly, not just raising, quickly raising your vibration. First of all, first of all, let me start off with answering the question, what is a vibration and why would you want to raise it? A vibration is a person's emotional state, right? So the way that they feel, the atmosphere of a place or the associations of an object as communicated to and felt by others. So why would you want to raise it? Because how we feel determines our experience. Case in point, if I feel good, I'm more than likely to have a good experience. However, if I'm feeling bad, I'm more than likely to have a worse experience or a bad experience, okay? So let's just say, for example, your boss comes into work and has a really bad attitude and is taking it out on everybody, right? A lot of us have been there. I know that I have a time or two before in my past. But anyways, um, so now that energy that your boss has brought into work has now made your place of employment a hostile working environment because everybody will be on edge. Nobody wants to be the one to get picked on. Nobody wants to be the one to do the scut work, you know, which is the work that most other people don't want to do. But if the boss is ticked at you, it's coming straight down to you. We all know what that's like, right? Most of us do anyways. So what can you do in a situation like this to quickly lift your vibration? Tip number one, think of something funny or search for a new joke and laugh. Of course, this is when, this is when the boss is in the office, not to ever, ever, ever be done in the boss's face. That would be inappropriate. So now this may seem silly, right? But when we are laughing, we attract other reasons to laugh and people to join us, right? Your energy will quickly begin to change from negative to positive and the world around you will feel it. Laughing represents feeling good. And when you feel good, you will uh, have good experiences come to you. So when you laugh, even if you're really upset about something, right? And you find a joke and it makes you laugh when you start laughing, all of a sudden... That you can still uh, be upset, but your energy has lifted. It has it's went from a certain level of upset to all of a sudden I'm not that upset no more. Or I'm still mad, but that joke was funny, which gives you a reason to find something else funny to laugh at or another reason to smile. Because like attracts like, okay? So, tip number two. Listen to your favorite type of music. Music is a very powerful tool in all altering our feelings that's why the uh, music industry is what a billion dollar business yeah people are investing a lot of money in determining how you feel maybe that can be for another video but anyways um when we listen to something that makes us smile or brings us uh, a fond memory we put ourselves in alignment with joy uplifting music is suggested but any music that makes you feel good will do the trick so a few of my go-tos are gospel. I absolutely love gospel music. I love classical music, R&B, jazz. You hear jazz playing in the background. And yes, Christmas music. I said what I said. I love <laughs> Christmas music any time of the year. Some people can't stand it, but any time of the year, I like Christmas music. It raises my energy. It puts me in a good mood. So um, the mere thought of joy begins to raise your vibration. So when you hear something that you love to hear, you're automatically going to be in a better mood. You're going to feel like smelling or singing along. What? And singing along to not just anything, but something that makes you happy. So that's a quick tip to raise your vibration. Okay, so let's move on to my last tip for quickly raising your vibration, which is to pray or meditate, of course. Why? To remind yourself that you are, to remind yourself that uh, there are so many things to be grateful for. In that moment, start thinking, start thanking our creator for being able to move without assistance. There's some people who are paraplegic, okay? There are some people who can't move at all. They're completely bedridden, and if nobody helps them, they're not ever getting out of that bed. 
okay? Start thanking our creator for being able to breathe without a machine, without an inhaler. Some people have to carry those things behind them, those, uh, what are they called, tanks? Uh, I don't know what they're called, forgive me for that. But they have to carry those behind them wherever they go because they cannot breathe on their own, okay? So start thanking our creator for being able to experience what love is. So there's a lot of people who have said they have never, ever found love. And I'm not necessarily just talking about love in terms of uh, a couple, right? In terms of being in love. But some people say that, you know, they've never had a real family or they've never had a real friend. They've never experienced that type of love. So if you're one of the lucky ones who have had love in one of those areas or, or all of those areas, you are truly blessed. Think about that and be grateful for it, right? Think about or meditate because this is a prayer or a meditation, which whichever you do is fine for a roof over your head. Think of all the homeless people out there and you're not one of them. And what if you are one of the homeless people out there, but you're safe. You're in a better position than some other uh, homeless people that you've seen. And you know, there's a difference, right? That's something to be grateful for, right? For the food in your mouth, for waking you up this morning. So when you pray about those things, the act of being grateful brings forth many more opportunities to be grateful. So when you, you know, instead, when all that negative energy is going on and you're silently praying to yourself and you're saying, Creator or God, I am so grateful and thankful that you gave me a ride so I, can, I don't have to get on public transportation today. I'm so grateful that I do not have to catch the bus. I am so grateful that I don't have to um, live in an undesirable location or I'm so grateful that I don't have to beg for food because I have a job that affords me to be able to eat lunch and to be able to feed my family even if it is earning you know not that much of a wage what are you able to do with that wage because you have to remember there's a lot of people who can't do anything because nothing from nothing is nothing okay so anyways <laughs> excuse me guys be grateful okay your uh, prayer and your meditation should be about being grateful and you watch the way that skyrockets your vibration when you consider the many possibilities and think about the one that you're in oh it's something to be grateful for and that alone will raise your vibration right then and there okay guys that's all i have for you for today i hope that you all have enjoyed it i hope that um hopefully you guys will share some of my tips with your friends with your family if you need it for yourself, please reference it. Um, go ahead and get the message out there. Share because you care. You know what? You'd be surprised how many people say, oh, my God, I tried this tip or I tried that tip. And that really worked for me. You know, my day was kind of crappy. Share it around the office. You never know. Somebody can use it. Okay. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'm Psychic Synonymous 13, all one word. Again, that is Psychic Synonymous 13, all one word. Don't forget to subscribe to my second channel, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. That's enough. Until next time, everybody. Shh, it's anonymous.